Hi there, and uh, let us continue with our lesson. And today, we'll go and learn about the scope in carotenes. So let's go and see what is the scope in Kotlin carotenes. In Kotlin, a carotenes must run in something called as a carotin scope. A carotin scope keeps the track of your carotenes, and if we create a carotene and never keep a track of it, and we may create a lot of it, maybe a hundred or maybe a thousand, and Running all of these at the same time may create a memory leak and as well as the waste of resource. To ensure that all the coroutines are tracked, Kotlin does not allow you to start a new coroutine without a Kotlin scope. A Kotlin scope keeps a track of all of your coroutines and it can cancel all of this coroutine that we have created or that it has started it. A Kotlin scope in Android is very useful because we can cancel the background tax as soon as the activity is destroyed. So that's the main point over here. So the curtain scope can keep a track of all of the curtains that it have started. And it's really important for us to destroy it whenever we are, we are destroying our activity. So let's say a user press a back button, right? So the activity is always destroyed from the back stack. So at that time, if the curtain is still running, Right, in the background, so when it finishes its job and it come back to your UI thread, wants to put pull, pull in some data to the UI thread, at that time the activity is already destroyed. So that will cause a memory leak as well as it may crash your application. So that's the main point of the Kotlin scope to keep all of your Kotlin's and it will help us to cancel all of the Kotlin's that we have started. So whenever we destroy our activity or a fragment, so we should be able to destroy all of these background tasks that we have created. So if you cannot destroy it, that will obviously go and create a memory leak as well as it will crash your application. So that's all in this lesson. So on the next lesson, we'll go and see more about this scope. So let's meet up in the next lecture. Till then, have a great day.